Welcome, and thank you for joining us to these uh, short devotionals for Morristown Baptist Church and also Black Rock Baptist Church. We're going to finish off our week looking at happiness. Focus on the purpose, not on the problem. Philippians chapter 1, verses 22 through 25. The Apostle Paul writes, If by continuing to live I can do more worthwhile work, then I am not sure which I should choose. I am pulled in two directions. I want very much to leave this life and to be with Christ, which is a far better thing. But for your sake, it is much more important that I remain alive. I am sure of this, and so I know that I will stay. I will stay on with you all to add to your progress and to add joy to your faith. You know, when you stay focused on the purpose instead of the problem, you can have joy in your life. Even when life seems to be falling apart. Paul is an old man in prison in Rome when he's writing these, this letter. He's a long way from home. He's awaiting execution. Everything has been taken from him, his friends, his freedom, his ministry, even his privacy. He has a guard chained to him 24 hours a day. It isn't exactly a happy time for Paul. But there's one thing they could not take away from Paul, his purpose. Paul makes the choice to stay focused on his purpose, even when he has lost everything else. What's his purpose? His purpose is serving God and serving others. Let's look at those verses again. He says, if by continuing to live, I can do more work, worthwhile work, then I'm not sure which I should choose, life or death. I'm pulled in two directions. I want very much to leave this life and to be with Christ, which is a far better thing. But for your sake, it's much more important that I remain alive. I'm sure of this. And so I know that I will stay. I will stay on with you all and add to your progress and add to your joy and faith. Viktor Frankl wrote a book entitled Man's Search for Meaning. Frankl was a Jewish psychiatrist who had been, was taken to one of the uh, Nazi death camps in Germany. All of his family and his friends had been killed, murdered, gassed. He writes in his book about one day when he stood in front of the German Gestapo, stark naked. They'd taken away all the prisoners' clothing, and even they took away Frankel's wedding ring. As he stood there with nothing at all, he suddenly realized that there was one thing the Nazis could not take away from him, and that was his choice of how he would respond to this situation. You cannot totally control what other people do to you. You cannot control what other people do around you. But you can control how you respond. Choose to serve others, even when you're hurting. Choose to forgive. Choose to focus on God's promises, not on your circumstances. Those are the kinds of choices that lead to a greater faith, a greater happiness. And then your faith will produce a greater joy. God bless. Have a great weekend. Join us on Sunday as we continue in our, our sermon series in First Peter. Until then.